Hello, uh, today I decided to bring you uh, a little trip and uh, we can see where some black thorn is growing and I can show you how to cut it and we can go through, uh, you know, like a, a daily cutting session that's, that I would usually go through. So over here, we have a lot of very good black thorn that I've managed to find. So today we'll, uh, we'll have a look and we'll try to cut a few of these sticks, okay? Okay, um, here's a kind of close-up of a blackthorn bush and you have to identify which branches are, are going to be suitable for a stick. Just to let you know, um, that's how the leaf of a, let me just zoom in here, that's how the leaf of a blackthorn looks, um, a bit serrated at the side, just so you can uh, able to, to identify. And here you can see a few of the, uh, the thorns that you've got to be really careful of when you go cutting your, your blackthorn. Because if you get one of these guys stuck into you, um, you see the tip? The tip will just break off under your skin quite deep and you'll come up with, uh, with, with quite a big rash. So you do have to be careful of, of these when you're going into the brush because you're pretty much surrounded everywhere you look by thorns. So the best way to... to so if I want to cut out this stick, which you see, you see right in the center, this stick right here. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is secure the area because, you know, if you are trying to go in here and uh, just go, just start whacking at it, you're gonna get injured, you're gonna get hurt. So the first thing you're doing with blackthorn is clear, identify the sticks and then clear the space that you want to do. All right, so how to cut a blackthorn. So you've identified a stick here that is a good inch in an eight, maybe inch and a quarter thick, which would be quite quite a good thing. And it goes all the way up there. Um, you see, this this branch is quite good because you can probably get a few staffs as well because it grew really straight because it was searching for the light. So what I would usually do is we we'll come down here to the bottom and there will be quite a nice handle here or you can do some kind of root. So usually you're going to cut about eight to 10 inches away from where the handle was. So what I'll do now is I'll turn off my camera and I'm just going to go in here and cut this and then when I'm done I'll, uh, I'll show you the, the, the stick is removed. Okay, um, here are kind of your tools of choice before you go cutting uh, black thorn. Um, it's very hard to get into these, uh, these hedges as well, you've got to make your way in. So you know if you have like a chainsaw or anything like that it actually makes it quite quite difficult. So a lot, any, any kind of hand cutting saw would do. Um, these things are, are pretty essential because uh, when you're clearing the area, you need uh, you need one of these. This, this is probably the most essential tool you have. Uh, some gloves as well. I should wear them more. Sometimes I tend not to, and uh, you get get a few spikes. This one's handy for for me because I'm quite a short guy. Uh, so when I'm cutting uh, a bit higher, I can just pull down, and there's a curve in it that helps it. Uh, you know, I go through saws quite quite a lot. Uh, these were just some cheap saws that were on sale in the local Aldi. Um, so I just kind of picked them up just for today, just to have some kind of saws. You know, they're just some, some easy saws. And these things are pretty handy as well, just a small one. So any really cutting item that you're comfortable with, like there's no set standard, this is what, what I would um, bring out with me when, when I'm cutting. Okay, let's get into it and let's, let's cut one of these guys. All right, we'll use this guy and uh, we're going to, to cut this guy here you have a lot of these in your way at the moment so you might just want to to get them out of the way first so here's why this tool is is pretty handy because again you want to, to clear some space for yourself uh, any of these ones that could potentially jab you you just want to to make sure and get them uh, out of the way first. So again, we're trying to, to cut here down at the bottom. So any of these guys that, that are in your way, kind of make room for yourself. Okay. Uh, okay now. So, get this guy. All right, so here's pretty secure. I want to go in here and I want to cut there. So secure the area from all the thorns. And I'm just going to use this one now and just cut it about here. Uh, 
So I can use then this as a handle, okay? Be tough enough to cut through. There we have it. We've cut off here, and now we're going to uh, cut all of these little things out of the way and get down the main piece. Cut away few of these pieces too. And they're starting to come. It's quite a long piece this actually. This guy is in the way here. But I can make a nice stick here. So probably leave that hang for a second. And uh, I'll cut this one so I can get a nice walking stick out of that one as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, here is the piece that we cut out. And why I chose this one, you'll see now. It's very long. So, I'll probably be able to get a nice hiking pole as well as a walking stick. So that bit, I'll make into a walking stick. And then this piece, I can make into a nice blackthorn hiking pole. Now again, it's very unusual for blackthorn to, to grow quite straight like this. So we're always going to be looking for something quite in the middle of the bush that is looking for the light. As you can see, these guys here are looking for the light. They grow straight up, which is quite good. So again, any of the black drone you see at the side of the road, it's no good. It grows in all different ways. It's too short, not good for sticks. You want to find a good bush, go into the center of the bush and find these ones that, uh, that um, grow quite straight up. So again, I'm going to get on with it now and have a whole day of cutting ahead of me. I just wanted to show you my first one that I'm cutting and uh, we'll take it from there and I'll make some more videos the next time I'm going out. Okay, thank you. Okay, finally arrived home and just to show you the fruit of my labor today, here is uh, here's all the, the sticks that I got today when I was out cutting. So uh, thank you again for watching my videos and uh, let me know if you have any questions.